Hi everyone, Wynn Brown here with our Friday, March 20th evening edition of Haywood's COVID-19 update. Uh, so far today, as of today, we have tested 63 patients uh, for COVID-19, still only 17 results back with no findings, so no positive findings at all in our community so far. The rest are pending. We're very frustrated with the slow response from the labs, but it is what it is. Um, for our staff on the inpatient units, please take a look at the intranet. We've updated our discharge instructions uh, and revised them, and so please take a look at them so you're up to date on, on, our, on those instructions. I talked a little bit about uh, out, uh, outpatient uh, rehabilitation, and at Athol Hospital, the update there is, is that we're providing outpatient rehab services Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 12 to 5 p.m. for our post-surgical and pri priority patients. Uh, this morning, I also mentioned uh, Jeannie Sanborn and Dr. Mahan have done a video. Uh, we're just finishing the editing of that, and hopefully that will get uploaded later this evening after this post, so stay tuned for that. Uh, we did have a question from a community member because these videos go beyond our four walls of all our, of all our companies, um, and they wanted to know what a negative pressure room is. And a negative pressure room is essentially a room where the air is uh, vented to the outside, so the positive airway air comes into the room and vents outside, and it helps... Um, keep infection down in airborne precautions. So that's, that's what a negative pressure room is. The air goes to the outside. Uh, I just want to, for those of everyone who has kids at home, uh, we are a partner with the United Way and they have their Footsteps to Brilliance uh, platform, which is a literacy platform for pre-K through age, through grade three. Uh, and you can download that and it works on any platform. So help keep your kids busy at home and, and keep them learning. Uh, this video is embedded in an email from the hospital. I'll have instructions for everybody to use that, and I encourage you to do that. It's also in English and in Spanish. Again, so a shout out and thank you to the community who keeps stepping up and supporting us. Uh, uh, CAPT, the CAPT Collaborative and Cindy Landano both donated gloves to us, and DCU Federal, uh, DCU Credit Union uh, made a gift to us to support the work that we're doing, and Babs Auto Body uh, donated N95 masks, so we appreciate that. Also this morning, I mentioned our blood supply, which is stable at the moment, but you know there is a shortage everywhere. Um, we reached out to the American Red Cross, and they are not doing any mobile blood, blood drives right now, uh, but you can go to Worcester to their 381 Plantation Street Center and donate on site there. So if that's something that calls to you is to, to volunteer to support the community, that would be a great thing for you to do. Um, we'll be doing a teleconference on Monday with the Greater Gardner Chamber of Commerce to update uh, companies on the work that we're doing and, and how to support their staff. Uh, remember, as you come into the hospital, to have your badges so we can see them as you come in so that we can make sure it's staff who's entering. Uh, what else do I have for you? Um, I was on Facebook earlier today uh, when I had a little break, and uh, one of my friends, Erica's Facebook quote was, what a year this week has been. And I think that speaks to the work that we're all doing. It has been quite a week uh, and it feels like a year in time for everything that we've gotten done. So congratulations to everyone in the Haywood family for the amazing work that has been accomplished. We have a long way to go on this pandemic and I think we are very well situated. So warm out, we're gonna have a great weekend. I encourage everybody to get outside, check on your neighbors, call your family, make sure everybody's doing all right as we continue our journey to be one of the best community-owned health systems in America. Thank you, I'll be back to you tomorrow morning.